you can program Ozobot to express itself with movement, sound, and lights. Today, you'll explore how the special moves in the Win Exit Color Codes can be used to help Ozobot perform different actions. You will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, the intro to Color Codes 3 Special Moves in Win Activity Sheet, and a pencil. In today's lesson, you will draw color codes to program your bot to move in different ways. Observe how your bot moves after it follows a color code and connect the input of a sequence of color with the output of a special move. Look at your special moves in Win Activity Sheet. There are five start circle pathways and a color codes key. The color codes key has four special move codes and two Win Exit codes. First, add the tornado color code on the first pathway. Then, Add the zigzag color code on the second pathway. Some asymmetric color codes program the bot to perform different actions when read from different directions. The spin color code is opposite the tornado color code, and the backwalk color code is opposite the zigzag. Next, add the win exit color codes on the ends of the third pathway. Finally, trace the lines on each pathway with black marker. Use the color codes key to complete each pathway. After your activity sheet is complete, you're ready for your bot. Put Ozobot on start one. Observe how it uses its line sensor to follow the pathway and its color sensor to process the tornado color code. Ozobot will follow the color code instructions to perform a specific output or action. Put the bot on start one and observe its actions. What does your bot do? The tornado color code programs Ozobot to change speed as it spins. It begins to spin slowly and gets faster. Now put your bot on start number two and observe the spin color code in action. How is the action of the spin color code different than the tornado color code? When you programmed your bot using the spin color code, the bot did not change speed, but went around in short bursts. Next, put your bot on start number three and observe the action of the zigzag color code. What does your bot do? When you program your bot using the zigzag color code, it should have moved forward, turning slight left, then turning slight right. Now put your bot on start number four and observe the action of the backwalk color code. It is important to remember when you use the backwalk or the zigzag color code, your bot needs at least three inches of black line after the color sequence to complete the action and continue following the line. How does the backwalk color code program your bot to move differently than the zigzag color code? When you programmed your bot using the backwalk color code, it should have turned around and moved in a zigzag motion backwards. Put your bot on start five and observe how it randomly chooses a direction to turn at the intersection. Observe the bot's action at the end of the line. Run your bot multiple times from start five until it has made its way to both win exit color codes. How are the two win exit color codes the same? How are they different? The win exit play again color code programs the bot to laugh, turn left, turn right, then spin. The win exit game over color code programs the bot to make a sad sound, turn left, turn right, then spin. If any of your color codes did not run correctly, you have a bug or an error. Check your pathways for some common bugs with color codes. Are your color codes surrounded by solid black lines without any white spaces? Are the color blocks in the color codes too dark? Are there any extra white spaces between the colored blocks? Way to go exploring the special moves in Win Exit Color Codes. If you had any bugs or errors, check your pathways. Time to check your work. Does your activity sheet have three completed pathways with black lines in color codes? Does your activity sheet show how your bot can be programmed 
two different ways using asymmetric color codes. Did you run your bot from all five starts? Did you observe what the different color codes programmed your bot to do? Can you describe what the different color codes program your bot to do? Looking for more? The special moves color codes and win color codes can be used to show Ozobot completing human-like actions or showing human-like emotions. Write a sentence about Ozobot acting like a human. Then use lines and color codes to program Ozobot to demonstrate the sentence in action. Come back again soon.